my friends. So, day is 30th of December, and I just can't believe we're just a couple of days away from a brand new year, new year. and I, I'm sure I say this every year. I can't believe. Um, it just goes show you how important it is to celebrate each day, to celebrate each journey, um, to even celebrate you know, the, some of the wilderness, because it's in the wilderness that we can be strengthened. We can grow in wisdom. We can grow in truth. We can learn even new things about ourselves and we can choose to allow it to strengthen us or bring us down but it's still always a choice and in those times of wilderness uh, in the valley time it doesn't have to be a place of despair and it's to me what I have learned what the Holy Spirit has showed me is so much about heart postures and expectancies our heart it's just the gateway to the future it really is if our heart is troubled and we allow that to rule us we'll have a troublesome future if our heart though is tuned into the father's perspective, the Father's truth, uh, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and that's, they're our beacon, they're our source of life. When we know that it's not about us and we recognize that, we recognize the truth, the His truth. Because there is a big difference. But when our hearts are grounded and postured in that, when the expectancy of our heart is to just see his truth to just experience it to do life with it that's what our outcomes will resemble they'll resemble what the father sees what the father believes what Jesus um, even died for um, you know, he was he paid the ransom so that we didn't have to and our heart is postured into truth not based in religion not based in guilt shame, anything like that, but just the Father's heart for love, the Father's heart for connection, the truth, truth uh, as the Father sees it, like, that needs to be our heart posture, that needs to be the expectancy each day in the place of surrender, is to surrender our hearts and our minds from whatever they typically flow in to just be in dialed into or tuned into the Father's, um, what He believes about you, what He believes about Himself. You know, it's, it's taking the time um, to connect. It's taking the time to understand, to gain knowledge, to gain wisdom, to not just settle for your own perspectives, to settle for somebody else's perspective, to settle for even how you've been raised to believe. It's like, no, those, those are all places of settling. Those are places of sometimes even where we can become um, at a standstill. And we don't move forward because we're stuck there. We're stuck in a, a religious mindset. And the Father wants to draw us out of that because He's about relationship. He's about connection. And when our own dads didn't connect with us well, we can sometimes get stuck in thinking that then that's how Father God is. And it's just not truth. That's not true. That's a lie. And so it requires a strength, a place of strength, I believe, to step out of that. Like I had to intentionally do it. I had to almost... Um, schedule it you know like if you know we schedule workout time or we schedule bible time within me and within my heart it was like something that I intentionally scheduled in to not believe the lies to to um die enough of myself to 
be able to receive something even greater because it's there. Like it is there for our taking. We just sometimes how to get, we need to get out of our stupid thinking or our stinking thinking to enter in. But the door is always there and it's always wide open for us to enter in. But it's sometimes our religious beliefs and the way that we've been taught in the past are wounding the heart place, you know, the wounds of the heart, trauma. Shame is a big one because shame says you're bad and everything you do is bad. So sometimes shame takes over and in there in that place can be an unworthiness. Well, I'm not even worthy of this. And yes, you are. I mean, that's, if he, if the Lord hasn't shown you how worthy you are by what he, um, the lead, or placed upon his son to handle instead of sending his wrath upon us, he placed it upon Jesus. If you, if you don't see your worth even in that, then this is where I highly suggest that you die enough of yourself and your pride and any victim and enter into just understanding what the father says about you and even ask him that, you know, ask him, you know, um, I call him Papa, but whatever you, you choose to call him at whatever season you're in, you know, what do you believe about me? But also what do you believe about yourself? Cause you'll be surprised to even some of the things that he will share with you, release to you. You'll be I've been surprised sometimes as to hear him, what he says, even about me. Um, but then also about himself. And I ask that even of Jesus and Holy Spirit too. What do you believe about me? And what do you, what do you believe about yourself? Because I only want to flow in what they believe. Uh, I don't want to flow in what I believe. Because sometimes my belief system might have been established from somebody else's false uh, perspective. Somebody else's wound. Somebody else's wounded perspective of God or wounded perspective of even of themselves and they parented from that or they coached from that or they pastored from that and it's so important to be able to separate people from God and to know that he is separate his love is everything he will never separate himself from us but it's important for us to separate him from other people um, and to know that his love is different um, and the way he loves is different and the way he sees us is different than what here we're humans what this is a whole different realm and so we have to sometimes recognize even that in order to receive heavenly truth and be able to get our hearts postured and accepting that and it, and as our hearts accept it, not just our brains, but our hearts, is when things here will shift. And that is what this new year is all about. It's a, it's a transition. And, and that's basically shifting and changing. And so I just encourage you to, as you go into this new year, to be okay with the heart shift. To be okay with your heart um, Possibly learning something new about your heavenly dad and Jesus and Holy Spirit and connecting with them in a whole different way than you might have connected with them before. They could be okay with that because they are. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, happy new year. Um, and I just speak blessings into you into this these days to come but into even your your physical health your mental health and your spiritual health in jesus name bye-bye